What's up? You ready for some fat loss tips? Sit down, boy. Sorry guys, didn't you see? Didn't see you there. It's not like I was recording this video. Woo! Woo! I was planning this out at all. It just happened. It just happened. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Enough of that. But anyways, guys, what's up, guys? Upgrade yourself here today. Teaching you some tips and tricks to lose weight. All right. So, how do we do this now? The I'm going to talk about the mistakes that I don't want you to fall prey to. We're going to make this really quick video, really quick and easy. So first and foremost, I don't want you to fall for the cookie cutter diet. It's a diet that someone has already put in place for you, not customly made for you, but you found it on the internet. It was already pre-made and this diet could like work for anybody, it says. No, wrong. You're an individual human being. You have a certain height. You have a certain weight. You have a certain cat. You have a certain need for a certain amount of calories, proteins, carbs and all that in a day. So that diet isn't gonna work for you, so don't fall prey to the trick to a pre-made diet, otherwise known as a cookie cutter diet. Second, a calorie is not a calorie. That's, no. Calories can be split up into three groups. We got protein, carbs, and fats. I'll put a link down in the description that explains the uses for each of these three macronutrients. So basically, you have a certain number of these that you need in a day for your diet. So my buddy here, He's super smart scientist. I'm not that smart of a guy. I'm your average lifter, bruh. So I can't help you, but hopefully my buddy here will help you. He'll show you the calculator, everything, and I'll be right back after he's done with that. And then we'll get a little bit more to talking. I'll explain a little bit more in depth for some of you guys that are still really cloudy about what I said. I'm sorry, baby. Guys, it's upgrade your friend, it's upgrade yourself's friend here today, and I'm here to teach you some tips and tricks on how to get your macronutrients a macronutrient a proximate. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got pro I got some speech stuff going on, guys. It's gonna take me a second. So you need to find out how much macronutrients you need in a day. So I'm gonna help you. You're gonna go to these three calculators. What's up, guys? Um, these are the two calculators you're going to need to calculate your BMR and your macronutrients. And I'm upgrading yourself friend here today to show you. So, you're going to enter your age, your sex, and your height. It's going to tell you everything you need to know about you. See, it's going to tell you your carbs, your proteins, and your fats. And that's all you need to know. Then you go to your BMR calculator. And it's going to tell you your calories that you burn in the day. So, you listen to my friend upgrade yourself, and you lose a lot of weight. I promise, he's the best at this, bro. He's helped out for free, bruh. Let's upgrade yourself, friend. Bye, guys. I'm a nerdy scientist. You might see me in other videos, but yeah. <laughs> bruh. Right. Welcome back, my lifting bruhs. My brothers in lifting. Now, what's up, guys? Welcome back. So, you heard it from my boy. My boy, the nerdy scientist. Tell me what you think about him in the comments. Seems like a really nice guy. I like his skin complexion. It's similar to mine. But anyways, guys, going on forward into the future. So now that you know the numbers of macronutrients that you need a day, um, it's time to start figuring out how you're going to consume the proper amounts of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to start tracking all your macronutrients. You're basically going to write down everything you eat a day in your book. All right. You're going to have a book, record it, chart, computer, iPhone. Just write down how many calories you're consuming a day and how much you eat those each of these macronutrients you're eating. Now, what I want to clear up is earlier in the video when I said a calorie is not a calorie, what I meant by that is you can't get away with eating the proper amount of calories and that you need in a day as a human being and be eating junk food because you're getting the wrong macronutrients. You'll be getting too much um, fats, 
and stuff, and it'll just make you fat. Now, fats don't make you fat, but too much of anything does make you fat, all right? So what that's saying is don't eat junk food. Just get the proper amounts of macronutrients. A calorie is much more than a calorie, if you get what I'm saying. So the second thing that I want to teach you guys is fats are actually good for you. Fats, if you're a dude, can boost your testosterone. And fats are not bad in any way, shape, or form. They actually can benefit you a lot. I put a good amount of fats in my diet. Cutting off fats could be potentially harmful. The second thing I want to tell you is low-carb diets. Now, this is a big thing. People brought this crap up, and uh, they're saying low-carb diets are good. Now, if you're trying to cut, cut very quickly your weight, I mean low-carb diets, they can be good, but they can hurt you in the long run. Having too low calories can hurt you, and it can actually affect your training because carbs are your energy source for your body. So if you're not getting the proper amount of carbs, your training is going to suffer. You're not going to see as many of them gays in the gym. Is it too late now to say subscribe? Cause I'm missing more than just you.